right, let's start off with this tutorial. I'm going to use this image. I'm gonna change the background, I'm gonna leave it like this. I have this butterfly here. Looks like this butterfly is made in China. Anyways, I'm gonna copy all these layers, rasterize them by pressing Ctrl E and put this here in our file. And I'll make a smart object and put this where we want to. I'm just gonna make this whole thing like magical. First I was planning to do this like a real photo, but I think I wanna create something more magical this time. So let's first put this here. All right, that's okay. We can make a little shadow for this butterfly to make it look better. So I'm just making like this black spot underneath it and put it right in the center under his, under his feet and just give it a little bit of blur. And that's pretty much it too get a little bit of a shadow on things like this because if you don't have a shadow it looks like he's just somewhere floating in the air so I want to make sure this looks just a little bit real like that that's it don't have to do much here right now we can change the color of this butterfly so for this one I could make a cute situation here I could let's don't forget this I can change these colors by this one as you can see here, we can create some cool, cool colors here. Or I can go to camera raw filter. I think camera raw filter works better. So I'm going to do it in camera raw, but I want to make it more like icy white kind of thing. So I'm going to play with these settings here till I get something more white, something like this. Maybe also a little bit more exposure. And let's drop the highlights slightly. Let's increase the whites. Just like that. And we can drop some colors here. All right. That's okay for this one. And now I can do some editing here. So first I will make this butterfly darker. Because I want to make it glow. So we need to make sure it is first dark. After that just make a dot in the center. And get rid of this glow. So that's pretty easy to do. Now let's make a new layer here so I can give it more glow. So first I'll create something like this and change the blend mode to soft light. As you can see here we get a little bit of glow around the butterfly with that one. Let's do some editing on this, on this lizard here. So let's first select the pen tool here. I want to create some cool rim light here around it so for this one I'm not gonna remove the whole background because it's gonna take a lot of time and especially when you have this kind of background with all this stuff here it takes a lot of time to get rid of it also I don't want to waste time on that or else the video is gonna be too long and now all of y'all don't watch the video until the end so I'm not gonna do that so I'm just gonna do this quickly only on the front side here of it so I can create some rim lights coming from this butterfly on this lizard here. So just a quick little line on the on the tip of his face or his nose or his mouth. How do you call that? Just like that. And now I can just close it. And here I want to make sure to select zero pixels. So I have a hard edge. If I select one, I have a little bit of a blur, but I don't want that. All right. I have this now and I can make a new layer here. And let's just select the normal brush and start a little bit of brushing here. I have white as a color now, so that's fine for this one. Do some here, a little bit of a little bit of a line around it. I will first make this line. After that, I can remove some parts because I don't want it to have it everywhere. I just want to make sure it's first everywhere, and after that, I can get rid of some parts. This looks really bad now. But don't worry, we will fix that. So just make like this little line. Let's make sure it's everywhere on the selection. Here, here, here. All right, now we can fix this because this looks weird. So what I will do is first create the mask and now I can brush some areas away to get this better. Also on the inside, a little bit less. So don't need it there. 
just on the front here. Like that. Maybe don't need this one. Alright, let's leave it like this. And I can change the blend mode to either overlay. And if I duplicate this, it's gonna be like a little bit yellowish, goldish. And I can put this in one folder and get rid of some parts if I want to. If I just like that. So it fades away. Maybe not the bottom part. Just a little bit more here. This one. Right, let's leave it like this for now. Now I can make this butterfly more glowing because he's a little bit not glowing enough for me. So I will do some curves on this and get up these highlights, bring them up, bring this down, get them all sharper. Like that. See, this is the curve that gets darker. It needs a bit more contrast. Alright, because we made a camera raw filter, I can click on it again and change this. I think this is a little bit too much of the whites, so I'm going to drop the whites here. Alright, now I can do some fantasy things going on here. So, let me first make sure this is here, like that. If you Google... If you search on Google for sparkles, black background, you can find images like this. So I don't have to link these images in the description of the video. They're really easy to find and just change blend mode to screen. And you can see here, you don't have to cut out these backgrounds. You just sometimes need to do this so you don't see the old background. So let's create some sparkles here. I feel like this butterfly is a bit too too white, still too white now, so I need to drop this like that. I think this butterfly still needs some editing. It might be too white now, so I'm gonna change this. Alright, that's better. And now I can get the glow right. So first let me make this even darker with the exposure here. Can make like these areas dark. Let's do another exposure. This time I'm gonna make them light. And this light one I will first press Ctrl I to remove it. Then I can bring it back on the middle on the center in the middle. Just like that. The only problem here is this this black here. This isn't the real photo, this butterfly, but this is so it doesn't look real when you zoom in. But okay, let's fix this. Fix this. I will also change the background here. There's too much green now. I want to have it more like, like blue. Let's just drop the color here. And this butterfly also needs less color maybe this one also looks cool this is really what you want to do with it you can also make this red pinkish but let's not touch this one I'm gonna leave it like this just a little bit less color in it and I can move this around let's see let's put this a bit more here and a little bit less shadow. Like that. All right, now we can move, make the background darker. So we need to make sure the glow is only coming from this butterfly on this lizard here. So I will get rid of these highlights after I just select this mask of it. With a brush, I can just bring it back like that. That looks better. We don't have much colors now, but that's fine because at the end I will... Alright, this is too much. At the end I will make more colors to this. Alright, if we want to get these 
colors and this lighting glowing so let me first disable this gradient map here let's create a curves on top of all these layers and bring this up as you can see here we can make this really glow now and just bring this middle side down you can see here this curve goes down so if you take it at that point and bring it down you get the contrast really nice and glowing like that and make sure to bring these up so if you bring this more up you can see it gets really light but this is fine we don't want it too much just a little bit more like that let's let's create the light source here i want to have something like coming from this side like lighting on this face so let me first make this dot here and if i hold down command or i think it's control on windows you can stretch one corner like that so if you press ctrl t you bring up these these free transform window and now we can stretch it out like that let's make some cool light source there like we have some lighting coming in maybe a bit bigger like that like we have some something magical coming from that side from the top because his face is all lighting up now so I want to make sure it's not coming from this butterfly but it's coming from that side I think this is fine for now stretch it out like that just stretch stretch this by corner so don't stretch the whole thing just pick one corner and stretch it out to get a nice lighting something like this this looks pretty cool I'm going to give it a bit more of a shadow here so I will do this underneath this butterfly layer because we have like this really light thing going on from there so I want to make sure we have some more shadows here just gonna do it like this just a bit of a black spot here let's make this smaller just a bit more all right next thing that i need to do here is to get this get these colors right and stuff like that but first i want to put them in the water so i'm going to select all the layers press ctrl j to duplicate those and press ctrl e to rasterize this and i'm going to apply this water ripples again been using this a lot lately i think it looks really cool and i just select the displacement file here i will link this video up to create this file if you want to Let's see where is it here and now i got this water ripples pretty cool effect now the only thing i have to do is make a mask and with black or white to black color i can make this at the bottom here so first we need to see where do we want to start with this water so this is too high let's say something here in the dark let's see how that looks I think this was here like that now it looks like he's in the water so that's pretty easy to do all right what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this in in Lightroom I'm gonna save this as PNG and open this up in Lightroom all right into lightroom now i got this and i will apply one of my presets here if you want to get these presets you can get those i will link these in the description of the video you can see you can use this one number seven especially for the green tones you can see the green tones get really cool now so i'm gonna use this one just need to make sure it's not too dark let's export this one and also something for the lighting so we'll use this number seven for the tones and maybe this one these are presets from from Consta Punka. not sure if i pronounce his name right but these are also pretty cool about these and sometimes i use these maybe i can even use this one let's see if i can use this one this one looks pretty cool only thing i have to do here is to adjust these settings 
like change this thing. I think I even like this in the dark, so maybe this is also pretty nice if we leave it really darker like that and just see this little bit of lighting coming in. Let's export this one also. I'm gonna export three files from here. So this also, just make sure to use unique names here so they don't overwrite each other. And also this one from myself. This one has a bit more contrast. Let's see if I can change something here. Lighting is there, so I need to change that, put it there. Let's zoom out a bit here so I can see this better. It's getting too dark now. Let's do it like this. I'm also going to export this one. So I have three files now. Back into Photoshop, these three files I have created in Lightroom. I just open them all up in Photoshop. And this, these two look exactly the same, but a little bit more contrast on this one. So first I'm going to put this one above all the other layers. I forgot that this gradient map here, I probably don't need it anymore. Let's put this here and drop the opacity. Let's also put this one there. And this one for the colors. So the one for the colors, let's disable this for now. For the colors, I just changed the blend one to color. As you can see here, we get really different colors here. Let's drop the opacity here. This looks pretty cool. Let's put this above it and let's see. One of these I can also use. I think this one, the other one is too too much. Change this to soft light and drop the opacity here. Get something like that. Thing that I want to do here, I rasterize all these layers and put this in a different file. So I have Instagram size here. And after that I go to actions and I play this vector painting action. And this is gonna make like some sort of cartoon illustration of this this whole creation i will link this uh, this action in the description of the video as you can see here this is really quickly and i got this one extra maybe don't need this and i have like these layers here that i can disable enable and i will just drop this and as you can see here that looks really cool now it looks like a like a drawing actually but i don't want it too much i just want it slightly like that makes it even more magical after all now let's make one file i mean one layer of everything again and i want to increase the the sharpness here so i will go to camera filter again and here i can go and increase this just to make it even sharper you can see here this is really sharp it's too much just a bit sharper I think this looks really cool now it almost looks like a like a drawing so that's pretty much it so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video make sure to check out one of these videos if you want to learn more and until then see you in the next video